Need to get your voicemail set up on your iPhone, but not sure how to go about it? If so, you've come to the right place. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to get your voicemail set up and activated on your iPhone. We'll also give you some helpful tips and things to keep in mind before you start going through the process. Now let's get started. First, let's go over the instructions for how to set up voicemail on iPhone. Tap the phone icon on your home screen. From the menu that appears at the bottom of your screen, select Voicemail. On the next page, tap Set Up Now. Enter a four-digit passcode you'd like to use for your voicemail, then tap Done. The last step in setting up your voicemail system on your iPhone is to set an audio greeting that people will hear before leaving you a voicemail message. You can choose to use the default greeting by tapping Default, or record your own personalized greeting by tapping Custom. If you choose to record a custom greeting, tap Record to begin recording one. When you're finished recording your greeting, tap Save in the top right corner. Those are all the steps to setting up your voicemail. There are a few other things you should keep in mind before you start the process of activating your voicemail service. So next, we'll go over these things with you. Number one, before you attempt to go through the process of setting up voicemail on your iPhone, call your mobile service provider to make sure that you have a voicemail service included in your monthly cell phone plan. Some providers do charge extra for voicemail service, so if you don't already have voicemail included in your plan, be prepared to pay a little extra every month should you decide to add the service to your plan. Number two, if you know you have voicemail included in your cell phone plan, but are having some trouble getting your voicemail set up on your phone, we'd recommend calling your mobile service provider. They may be able to answer your question or help you solve the issue you're having. Number three, once you're finished going through all the steps to get your voicemail set up on your phone, we would recommend using another phone to call your own number and leaving a voicemail message for yourself. This way, you can make sure that your voicemail greeting and inbox have been properly set up. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.